Hello there. This is the video to explain what you need to do for lesson 4.03, cell structure and functions. For this lesson, you're going to work through all of the lesson pages first, and then you have an activity to complete. For the activity, I'm in Buzz right now in the sixth grade course, and you can see here are the lesson pages. And here is the forced Google Doc um, that you can use. You don't have to use this. Uh, if you prefer to use the, the material in the lesson pages, you can do that. Uh, if I go into the lesson pages right here, again, after you've worked through all of the lesson pages, when you get to page six, you'll find the assignment there. So here it tells you the activity. Being a scientist isn't all about using microscopes, beakers, and Bunsen burners. Scientists do a lot of reading <coughs> to gain knowledge. It also helps them stay current with new theories, tools, and technologies. <coughs> For this assignment, you're going to read like a real scientist. You're going to open up the article, The Amazing World Inside a Human Cell, and the link is right here for you. After you read the article, answer the questions on the activity worksheet, which is linked right here. You will submit your completed worksheet for grading. Be sure to review the grading rubric. So you can click this link to open up the article and this link to open up the worksheet, or if you prefer, you can go to this forced doc where you will be asked to make a copy once you open this up, it will say make a copy. Once you make that copy, it will look like this. On the Google Doc, I have a link right to the article. So you can just click here, get the article. And then the article is two pages long. You're going to read both pages. and then answer the questions. Now, I always like to look over what I'm supposed to read first and just read all the bold print. The amazing world inside a human cell, nucleus, membranes, endoplasmic reticulum and partners, mitochondria, 40,000 foot view. All right, once I've done that, I go back and I read each section and I'm careful to think about what has been said in that section and how it relates to the heading. So once you've finished reading, you're going to come back here and you will find the introductory paragraphs. Here are a couple of questions, some text dependent questions. The directions say use quotes from the text or summarize the text in your own words for these questions. Now remember, I always encourage you to start with words from the question in your answer. Um, the first one's already been completed for you to give you an idea of what a good answer is going to look like. So complete numbers four through seven, and then you're gonna have some questions asking you to decide if the statements below are a fact or an opinion. Then finally, I think this is the last section for questions, yep. The last questions are use the text and visuals to answer the following questions. Use complete sentences and provide textual evidence. Textual evidence means in the article, in paragraph five, under the heading of membranes. Those are things that you would put in your answer to let me know that you're getting the information from the text. Remember, you need to write your own work. Google answers will not be accepted. And then your grade will be determined by these, this rubric below. This is the exact tool I use when determining the grade for your work. All right, this is activity 4.03. Uh, I look forward to seeing how you guys complete this. If you have questions, remember always email me, leave me a voice message on my phone number uh, that's listed on the landing page, or you can book an appointment with me. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.